this video, we will see how to configure ME5022 that is dual band oriented with voice by Metro Electronics. First, we will open the network adapter settings. Here we will enter all the three details that is IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. To access the ONTs page, After that, we'll enter the IP 192.168.1.1 and enter username and password. The username and password is given on the screen. After that, we'll enter the capture to login. Once we have logged in, as you can see, we are on the status page where the device information is coming. Here we have device model, device ID, and all the serial number and hardware and software versions. Then we'll go to the network settings. This is the by default connection that we have set. In this, if you want only the internet to be working, you will select the service on internet. You will bind all the LAN ports. You will choose if you want IPOE and triple P or triple POE. And we'll put all the settings such as the IP version which we, which we want, like DHCP static, VLAN that we want, and then click on apply. Now as we can see our internet is connected, we have got the IP address and my connection is up. In the pawn connection I can see my TX power, RX power and all the working voltage, temperature and everything of the device. By default, the firewall level of the device is set to high. If you want to change that, you can change that. But it is recommended to keep the firewall level to high. Now we will see how to create a voice profile in the point two. First, we will create a RAM profile that includes voice as well as internet. So we'll select the view IP internet option and we'll enter the rest of the details according to our connection. Once the profile is created, we'll go to the status tab to see if the connection is up or not. So we can see the voice profile is also connected and we have obtained an IP for the voice profile as well. After this, we'll go to the application tab and select view IP. Here in view IP, we'll have to enter the server address of the voice portal according to an RIS page. In, the, in all these fields, we'll have to enter the IP address of the one server.
now we click on add and put the username and password of our wide world server to which we want to connect the voice. As you can see, as you can see, now our voice is also up. Here in the voice section, it shows up user registration status. That means the voice is also connected. Now we'll see how to upgrade the device. For this, we'll have to write upgrade in the network in the URL section. This page will come and you can choose the firmware that is provided by the technical team of the company to upgrade the device.